hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial today i am going to show you on how to make good blender thumbnails for your videos that's really all i'm going to be showing you today nothing much but yeah oh yeah and quick thing before we get into the video you're going to want to have these three things okay so the first thing you're going to want to have a good pc or a good laptop with these specifications um in the screen Okay, so the second thing you're going to want to have is Blender. Honestly, any version, but I recommend Blender 3.6.2. Okay, so for the last thing, you're going to want to have Nacho Engine's IK Rig, which is in the link in the description. Okay, so now we can actually start the thumbnail. Okay, so once you finish opening up Blender, you're going to want to click Open. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the thing we just um, download right now. Okay, so once you finish downloading it, you will have this. Okay, so now you're going to want to go right here and you're going to want to click viewport shading. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to go right here, click on this and click shade smooth. Now, you're going to want to go right here to the render and click ambient occlusion. I don't know how you say that really weird uh, word. Click on it and click bloom and go to screen space reflections and click refraction now you can see it looks a whole lot better so yeah but we're gonna make it even better what you're gonna want to do is click on the name and click s well hold s to scale it up and scale it about here just scale it right here on whatever this stays right here Okay, so now you're going to want to click on your name tag. Go right here to the material. Go to the surface. Click on it. And you're going to want to click emission. And you can put it up to 10 or 5. I like to putting it at 5 because it's not that glowy. So, yeah. Now you can just adjust it however you want. And if you want to change the name, click tab. And delete. And just type in whatever you want, but make sure you have caps on or also just look like this. Yeah, I don't think you want it to having like that. And before we do anything else, make sure you come over here and click this little thing so you can have this out. And you can even put it out more, but um, I don't recommend you putting it that much. So yeah. Okay, so now we're going to want to click on the mesh. Don't click on the IK rig. Do not click on that. Click on the mesh. And you're going to want to go to modifiers. You're going to click add modifier. And you're going to want to put subdivision surface. Now, it does look all wonky, but you're going to want to come over here and click simple. And you're going to want this put, you're going to want to put it up to two. Sorry. You can see it looks way better. Now you're going to want to click and add modifier again and click solidify. It just makes it um, a little better. So, yeah. Okay. So now we have this. Click on the sun. Go to data or the little light bulb. Go click shadow. Click contact shadows. Go right here to the strength and put it up to 10 or 15. But I'll put it uh, for 10. Oh, yeah. And by the way, make sure you have an idea for uh, your thumbnail. So, yeah. Okay, so now you can add in the map, but if you don't want to add in the map, you can click Shift A, click Mesh, click Plane, and you can scale this up by using S, and you can just move it down. But I'm going to get the actual map, so yeah. To get the actual map, you're going to want to go to the link in the description. It's going to bring you to a Discord server. By the way, that is not my Discord server, so yeah. Once you join the Discord server, you're going to want to go to Rules and Verify, and you're going to want to click this Verify button also this one and you're going to want to select just those now you're going to want to go to the rules right here and you're going to want to click right here this and also that you're going to want to go to the animation assets and you can just um right here you're going to want to click on these ones by the way quick thing if you're going to want if you're going to download the gorilla tag sky jungle map 
Okay, so once you finish downloading the zip, you're going to want to click open file and then you're going to see this. You're going to want to drag and drop it to your desktop or your downloads. I recommend dragging it to your downloads so you don't take a lot of OneDrive storage. Oh yeah, and quick thing, to put cosmetics into it, you're going to want to go to the link in the description again. Okay, so once you're here, you're like, squishy, there's no download button. Uh, well, you're wrong. You're going to want to click on the code and you're going to want to click download the zip. It does take a while. Okay, so once you finish downloading it, you're going to want to extract it. So what you can do is drag it in your desktop and you're gonna wanna right click and click extract all and that's really it. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna open up Blender again and what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna customize it, that's it. You can click on the mesh, go to material, change the color, everything, anything just customize it right now and then i'll catch you back in a bit oh yeah and quick thing make sure you go to file import fbx and go wherever you store the cosmetics and you're gonna want to click hat face or whatever cosmetic you want to put in and then you can just type it in put it in and yeah oh yeah and sorry quick thing what you're gonna want to do is also go into the link in the description sorry Okay, so it's going to bring you back to Nacho Engine's Discord, and you're just going to want to scroll all the way up. Okay, so once you scroll all the way up, you're going to want to scroll down a teeny tiny bit. And this is where every single texture is. So if you're going to grab something from the caves update, you're going to right click and click save image. And literally every single thing you're going to do. So yeah, make sure you drag it into your desktop. Or you can just leave it in your downloads. It doesn't matter, but yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to go back to file, import, FBX, desktop. And you're going to want to go to cosmetics, hat, face. And I'm going to put it the top hat because I have the top hat. Of course, why not? And then you're going to want to put it up. You can shade it. You can uh, right click, shade it smooth, shade it auto smooth. I like shading it auto smooth because why not? Okay, so once you finish adjusting it, you're going to want to click on it, go to shading, and uh, zoom in, zoom out, or whatever you want to do. Go to closest, make sure it's diffuse color texture, click X, click open, and since this is a casual cosmetic and it's not from any seasonal update or whatever, uh, you're going to want to put the hat last texture, so yeah. And now you're going to want to keep on holding on the top hat, shift, click your rig, go to pose mode and click on the head and control p control p not b okay control p okay guys click bone and there you go now you're just gonna want to do the same thing if you're gonna add more cosmetics so yeah okay so quick thing you're going to want to go to the output click on the end click zero click zero step and make sure this is a png and make sure it's rgba so yeah just uh make sure you do that now before you forget okay so now you're gonna want to click on the rig click pose mode and this is um where you actually start doing your stuff i'm not going to add a map because this is just a tutorial but yeah Okay, so you're gonna wanna go right here, click the little X button if you don't want both, if you do not want both hands to move, so yeah. And you can just adjust it however you want, so yeah. Um, you can move it, you can move this, rotate it, you can go like that, I don't know why you want to do that. And yeah. By the way, if you want to prevent less lag, uh, make sure you go here, so yeah. It'll lag a little, but yeah. Okay, so once you finish your thumbnail, you're going to want to go here, click on the cursor, and just tap it anywhere. I'll just tap it right here. Um, and now you're going to want to click Shift A. Make sure you're make sure you're in object mode, okay? Uh, Shift A. Uh, you're going to want to click camera. Uh, you're going to want to zoom in. Click right here. Uh, go to view. Click camera to view and now you can just adjust the camera on where you want it to be but quick thing uh on the focus length i recommend you putting it like at 27 
because it is good. You can just put it on however you want, but yeah. Do not put it at I mean, one. I mean, you can put it at one, but this is what you're going to have, so yeah. Okay, so we are so close to finishing the tutorial, but this is the last thing you're going to want to need. You're going to want to don't exit out. Do not exit out of Blender. Just click the mi minimize. And now you're going to want to click, you're going to want to right click, uh, show more options, new, and create a folder. And just name it whatever you want. You're going to want to go to render. And actually, sorry, uh, output. And you're going to want to go right here where it says output. Make sure this is uh, PNG, RGBA. Click the file. And now you're going to want to put it on the new folder we just created on our desktop. You're going to want to click accept. And now you're going to want to go over here, click render animation. And now this is how it looks like. If you're not happy how it looks like, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can do whatever you want. But once you've rendered the animation, you can go to your new folder. And there you go. We have the image. By the way, I recommend you clicking control S, which saves it to Blender. So, yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I hope you guys like this tutorial. Comment down below on what other tutorials I should do for Blender. Um, anything that has to do with Gorilla Tech. But yeah, have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.